Uh, last off season, I was so high on Yandy Diaz. I was shouting from the mountaintops. Everybody needed to be in on Yandy Diaz because I liked some of the small little mechanical changes he had made to his swing to try and get more lift on the ball, which can be a very, very difficult thing to do uh, just over the course of an off season. And he had that monster power. And it paid off last year. Granted, most of his home runs did come in like the first two months of the season. And it tapered off towards the end. But he, he hit, I think he hit over 300. Good amount of home runs. I think his career high in home runs. Exit velocity is off the chart. Barrel rate off the chart. Cabrian Hayes kind of feels similar for me to that. Uh, average exit velocity last year of 92 miles an hour, which is absurd. Hits like 270. He had 15 home runs last year, which yep. is great. I think, I think he stole 10 bases or seven 10 bases, bases. Yeah. somewhere right around there. So he went 15 and 10. Great season. Uh, but what stands out to me is, is uh, Pitcherless has this stat that is ideal plate appearance percentages. Uh, it takes a player's barrels, their solid contact, their flares and burners, and then divides it by their plate appearances. It has turned into something that the more I dive into it, the more I am convinced it is like a magic, like a magic crystal ball for seeing into a points league's future. Because everybody on this list are guys that succeed at points leagues. Like, if you want to go, guys that have gone that had like, we'll say Vinny P had 260 plate appearances last year. So we'll say Vinny P and up 260 and up. Luis Arias was first. Ronald Acuna Jr. was second. Bo Bichette third. And then Freddie Freeman, Corey Seager, Yanner Diaz, Mookie Betts, Brian Hayes, Wander Franco. Shouldn't have said his name out loud. The Vinny P. And the list goes on. Like, it is just an, it's seemingly an Worth indicator. Dumb button. Yeah, there. those, Blake, you just named uh, good baseball players. I Yeah. <laughs> and those good baseball players. Excel in points leagues. Cabrian Hayes is going to be that guy. He's made a lot of steps forward. He's already an elite, 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 elite defender. So he's never going to come out of the lineup when he's healthy. Uh, he makes incredibly hard contact. That really high ideal plate percentage. Eighth best in baseball. He's going pick like 185-ish. Dude, he, he has potential. Like, I'm not even potential in points leagues. I think he's a top 12 third baseman in points leagues. So to get him in, I, I'm i bad at math. I'm just going to go ahead and say like the 15th round. That's to get him in like the 15th round, that's, hard. that's, that's good. Let's like see. being able to wait on a guy like that is is great. So Cabrian Hayes is going to be my my pick. <clears throat> yeah. Never, yeah. We haven't really seen a full, full season, even like a solid 140, 145 from Key Brian either. He's a younger player. You know, he's still 27 mm -hmm. years old. Uh, yeah, I think there's reason to believe that we haven't seen the best of Key Brian yet. Uh, yeah. And I think this could be an exciting pairing with O'Neal Cruz too. That, yeah, that, I think that, that only helps him. Yeah, for sure. That sounds like a fun left side of the infield for sure.